Early this morning, Peter Obi made a tweet about the lady that is allegedly in Canada that made those hateful speech against the Yorubas and the Benin people. And Peter Obi clearly stated that what is our problem? Why are we hating on each other's tribe? Does it affect the price of rice? Yeah, Mokari. Meanwhile, they're not the drag and say, say, not talk on the matter since this thing happened. When no we carry a case for head, eh, he's a bigot, he's this, he's that, he's high pop, he's this. But let me show you his tweets. He get many things we're going to need to look into because he get what he caused that woman and those people for that video to make those hateful comments that they make. And nobody's talking about that one. Let me show you this. I utterly condemn the reported hateful statements in actions attributed to a Nigerian woman living in Canada against all the Nigerians of diverse origins. Such divisive comments or behavior have no place in our society. As Nigerians, we should unite and focus on addressing our shared challenges rather than allowing tribalism and hate to tear us apart. I have consistently stood against the polarization of our country along tribal, religious, or political lines. What does a nation achieve through tribal or religious bigotry? Does it contribute positively to development by fixing our numerous health, education challenges, and pulling people out of poverty? Does it reduce the price of bread, rice, gary, yam in the market? Does it improve our transportation system or enhance the electricity supply? Does it ensure good governance? The answer is a resounding no. Our priority should be to move Nigeria forward, regardless of tribe or religion. We as Nigerians must live together in peace and love and ensure that we enshrine leaders based on integrity, competence, consistency, capacity, character and compassion so as to overcome our present challenges and move the country forward in the right direction. Let us focus on what truly really matters, building a prosperous, united, and equitable Nigeria for all. We must reject tribalism and religious division and embrace our shared humanity, working together towards a new Nigeria that is possible. Peter will be. Now, first and foremost, if you make me the president of this country, the first thing I will remove from any form will be fear. Place of employment or examination or anything, even a national passport, the first thing I will remove is state of origin. Then the second thing I will remove is tradition, religion. You see, state of origin and religion is a major problem we have in Nigeria. It clouds our mind. Tribalism and religion clouds our judgment. Now, some people they say, now, now Peter will be no say go talk. People like Reno Mokri, immediately that video come out that day, now they don't drag her. Now Reno Mokri don't drag her. Yeah, he don't go talk now. If now people, people they do one thing against, he go don't talk. You should remember that many statements have been made against the Igbo people, Peter, we no talk. Asami Dokumbo carrying rifle for TV, castigating the Igbo people. Peter, we did not say anything. That video went on TV channels. He ignored it. But this one now, because he never talk about this lady, they don't they drag her. Note, as you move in life, when you get to a certain level of hierarchy, you start finding out that you have to calm down and think before you even say good morning. That's why we find a politician on TV, when he wants to talk, he thinks his words. He calms down. You don't listen to Tinubu when they talk. Because if you rush talk and you make one mistake, you might not be able to get away with it. What the average man on the road will say, if I talk him, this might play, play Facebook and YouTube videos that they do. If I talk him, the way they go carry him go different. And what I would even say and get away with it, if Peter will be mistakenly talk him. In the next 20 years, they will be referred to that statement. So he has to calm down before he talks. Unlike a random movie that can blast anybody and insult anybody and get away with it. You get. So when this accusation comes came out, if you are in Peter Obi's shoes, the first thing you want to check is, are we sure this lady talking here is even an evil person? That's one. Are we sure this thing is not doctored? That's two. If it is true, what has caused this kind of speech? That's three. 
She says she's in Canada. Are we sure she's even in Canada? There are a lot of things to look at. When you don't look at all these things finish, he cannot give an official statement because his words are power. So you don't expect him to just jump and condemn. Now as for that woman, what the woman said is wrong. And I have come here to condemn her. But then many people have sent me a lot of videos. He gave one particular video where we ignite that woman's speech. I think it happened in one um, Edo Boy page or something. I think it's empty talk. When they were calling, doing hateful speech against the evils. Now you need to understand that because many people don't send me that video. I'm not just one post. I may not be like say, are they used to people head mark here or are they sponsored tribal by country? All I need to do is to say what this person have done is wrong. She should be prosecuted for said for it. But they might be get that will come out now. They write later to foreign countries. Send me they find that lady. But when that a uh, boy own happen, nobody write later because I saw that video yesterday. I they say, ah, ah, how come this one no trend? Nobody write it up because that we say I work that that's where I work. That's a dope boy. So okay, all of those ones they did Nigeria too. There's a le certain level of unbalance in the way we handle these things. I'm not supporting what that woman said. I'm totally against it, but I'm also totally against the ones that have been said against the evil people. Let's call this way this way here. People talk any against these evil people. Both politicians and rulers and people. But one day, woman talk, all of us will call here. Do not forget the set of people where they say they be beneath people for that particular video. When caused the quarrel, they are not up to 0.01% of beneath people. So we cannot use because of that video to judge all the beneath people. Also, the set of evil people where they this woman and make a video now, they are not up to 0.01% of evil people. So we cannot use does that video to judge all the evil people. What would you do is when this one talk nonsense, we condemn them all of us, both his brothers and sisters, everybody blast them. When this one talk nonsense, both his brothers and sisters, everybody blast them. But what we are doing is that if now our brother talk, we go quiet. But when the other person talk, we go raise alarm. We cannot continue like that. Oh, that goes scatter this country. We don't get another one. Who. Uh, so Peter will be, he's not the president, but when anything happens like this, I name everybody the call. Even the president never talk, he quiet. All the governors, all of them shut up, and Peter will be named everybody they call it as well. I understand it is because they know true, true. Now, many people vote. 